Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science and practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding ads performance and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Facebook or Meta interviews over the past couple of years. Let's jump right in. We are given a table called ads with three different columns, ad ID, user ID and action. The combined columns ad ID and user ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of an ad, the ID of a user, the action taken by this user regarding this ad. The action column is enum type. So basically it can have only three values, clicked, viewed or ignored. A company is running ads and wants to calculate the performance of each ad and it is measured by click through rate. It is zero if the total number of clicks plus total number of views is equal to zero. Otherwise we use this formula that is total clicks divided by total clicks plus total views multiplied by 100. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the CTR, the click through rate of each ad, round it to two decimal places and the result should be ordered by CTR in descending order and add ID in ascending order in case of a type. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have different ads and different actions taken, right? So let's see about add. So one of them, right? So add ID one. So how many of the add ID one do we have? One, two, three, four, right? Now out of this, how much, how many clicked? So one clicked, two clicked. Right, so two clicked and one viewed. So obviously the number of clicks plus views is not zero. So the CTR is not going to be zero. Now, if it is not zero, we use the formula total number of clicks divided by total number of clicks plus total number of views. Okay, so the total number of clicks for ad ID one is two, right? So one and two, and then total number of views is one, right? So this one, this one. Right. And one is ignored. Right. So now uh, putting that in the formula. So two divided by two plus one, three. So two out of three multiplied by hundred rounded to two decimal places is going to be 66.67. Right. So if you look in the output ID one, right, 66.67 is the output. And similarly for everything, let's take for five. Right. So for uh, add ID five, we only have one entry here and it is ignored. So obviously the total number of clicks plus views is equal to zero. So in that case, it should be zero. Okay. So de to develop this query, what we can do is for each of the ad ID from this ads table, we can group by ad ID and then try to see how many of these different actions are were there in the total, right? So how many clicks, how many viewed, etc. Right? So let's start developing it. So from this table ads, if we group by the ad ID, and then return the ad ID, right? And then we can use the case weight statements to basically see that for each of the ads, how many of click actions were there, how many viewed actions were there, right? So how we can do that? That whenever it is clicked, assign one, else assign zero, and then whatever number of ones and zeros you have, you just summed it, sum that up, right? So if I write case when, action is equal to clicked right so then return value one else you return value zero right and then you end that and then you sum this entire thing so you write sum right and this goes and then let's alias this as clicked right same thing for viewed as well so let me just copy this here and paste it here Right, and just change clicked to viewed and alias this as viewed. Right, now if you look at this formula, you don't need to do that for ignored. Why? Because either, you know, because in both of these cases, you are only using total clicks and to total viewed, right? So if it, the sum is coming out to be zero, you assign zero. If not, then you are using this formula, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Obviously, this is not the complete answer yet. So this is going to return a wrong answer. But let, let's just see what happens. So here, if you see for each of these ads, right? So ad ID one, there are two clicked, one viewed. Similarly for ad ID two, so if for five, you see there is no clicked and no viewed, right? Now what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression. So with CTES and this entire thing goes in parentheses. And now what we can do is from this common table expression, 
we need to take care of the certain cases right so these these two cases so return right return the add id right return the add id and then we have two cases so case when right clicked plus viewed is equal to zero then what do you do you just simply assign 0, 0.00 because that is what the question says else like if that condition is not true then what we need to do we need to use this formula so it is clicked divided by clicked plus viewed right and then multiplied by 100 and now we need to round this to two decimal places right so we write round this entire thing into two decimal places and this should be aliased as ctr so ctr and then this entire thing should be ordered by ctr so order by ctr in descending manner and then add id in ascending manner right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again like this is very simple question but if you look at it like if you follow the logic and if you follow what the question is asking it is quite simple all you had to do was try to count out for each of the ads how many clicks how many viewed and then for each of the two cases like if the sum is equal to zero just simply assign that value if not then use the formula multiply it by 100 round it to two decimal places remember to end the case when statements right and order by whatever is required right so yeah this is how we do it let me know in the comment section if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of doing this let the solution be in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video